Hi, Rob Rowan at the Abilities Expo with Xable.com, and we have something very leading edge that we think would be worth talking about. And this is Paul Dwork with Leading Edge Innovation. Hi, Paul. Good afternoon. Now, uh, we try to cover everything, and there's everything here at Disabilities Expo, but what you have is something a little bit unique and different, and, uh, and as you say, leading edge. And this is something that people are going to say, gee whiz, right? So tell us about it. Gee whiz is uh, a, a male urinary collection device. And uh, I am a pharmacist, and my pharmacy has always been dedicated for designing and developing products for improving quality of life. And urinary incontinence was an issue that became huge. Uh, our landfills are being filled up with diapers. Uh, the indignity of people wearing a diaper was, was apparent. And people became reclusive uh, by wearing diapers because the only way urine uh, has odor is by coming in contact with uh, air. So people became reclusive, they didn't go out. People became uh, insulted, embarrassed, and I decided to take this on as a mission to find the solution for the current market, which was 93% failure. The current part market is an external male condom catheter, which rolls on the penis, has an aggressive adhesive, and at the same time causes irritated skin, uh, it causes uh, infection, uh, it sticks to everything, it sticks to hair, and putting it on was as difficult as taking it off. So there were a lot of issues that came into play in developing a product. When people wear a, an external condom catheter or a sheath, what happens is when they sit down, they can end up kinking the end of the nozzle. That will create a, a lack of flow of, of the urine. At the same time, fill up the catheter and it blows off and falls off. So the 93% failure is a product that comes off all the time, doesn't stay on, people are dissatisfied with. Those that are wearing it, wear it because it's usually better than nothing. And I don't think any product wants to be better than nothing. I think what you want to do is, and that's what took six years of development. It was an intense search for, number one, developing a product, and then once the product was completed, listening to the consumer, listening to the people that are using it listening to the people that were putting it on somebody else. You had a wife, you had a caregiver. None of them were user friendly. And all those things became compelling issues that had to be solved. And that's where the G Wiz came in. Is that I took all those issues one at a time and now believe that there is no product more perfect than this on the market today. Wow, so do you want to show us exactly how it works? Yeah. Basically, this is the catheter itself. And I think the important thing to look at the catheter is not just the fact that it's a catheter. Number one, the silicone, it's 100% silicone with no adhesive. When the catheter is kinked 90 degrees, and I'll show you, if you zoom in on that, you can actually see on the inside there that if I blow through this, there's a full, clear passage for liquid to flow. Therefore, there'll never be an occlusion at a 90 degree bend for anybody sitting that would cause the catheter to come off. The second issue that came into play was that the nozzles oops, that were on the catheters, okay, the nozzles that were on the catheters are just a clear tubing. And the only way to put a connector onto those tubes was you slipped it on. Those connectors constantly come apart. So what had to be done was I decided to develop a connector that would stay with the catheter. Each catheter comes with its own connector. And now you have a quick connect disconnect where you actually can put it apart and take it on and off. This also provided an improvement to the dignity of an adult. A male that was wearing the catheter that needed to go to the bathroom didn't always have to be filling a bag. They literally can go into the restroom, stand at a urinal, disconnect the connector, go in the urinal, reconnect, and not have to worry about the connection coming apart. You have daytime, nighttime use. So you have a day bag and a night bag. Okay, this would be a nighttime bag. So when a person's in bed at night, all they do is they connect and 
go to bed. The leading cause of people going into skilled nursing facilities or convalescent homes is incontinence. 75 to 80 percent of people that go there are put there because the families can no longer attend to them. At night, when a person's at home now, if they get up at night, leading cause of a person breaking a hip is getting up, going to the bathroom. Even at night, if they do get up, all they have to do is quickly disconnect, they can go into the bathroom, evacuate the urine, go back to bed, and reconnect. And so how does this attach? Okay, basically what you have is a patented silicone gel seal. Okay, instead of having the adhesive on the inside of the catheter, the adhesive is now a separate component. Silicone is used on burn patients. Silicone it has a healing property just in itself. So what you have here is an adhesive product that is tacky but is not a glue. It doesn't stick to hair. One of the most impressive things of this is that it does not stick to hair. When you put it on skin, it will prevent a slippage at the same time it pulls off without pulling the skin off. Wow. So what you have now is a product that doesn't stick to hair, it doesn't stick to skin, and that when it's applied, it can be applied properly. The male has, all men are not created equal as I found out. Uh, you have circumcised and you have non-circumcised males. Your non-circumcised male is a major problem because what happens is any of the products that are put on that hit the foreskin first, the male will then retract underneath it and the catheter will come off. With the silicone gel seal and the G-Wiz, you have now the ability to pull the foreskin forward, wrap the gel strip around, let it go and it now will move back behind the head of the penis to the proper point on the shaft. If a man sits down, he's not going to retract under. To apply the catheter, once the gel strip is on, you take the catheter and you just roll the catheter over the gel strip. You now have a seal. Wow. Okay. And the important thing is, is that you do not have adhesive there. It's a silicone gel seal. It's sticky, but it pulls off. The final wrap of the uh, G-Wiz is a secure strip. The secure strip is attached over the gel, and it stretches a lot, and it's wrapped around. And I think the important issue here is, is that it is critical for the success of the product. What happens to the male during a course of a day is the male changes sizes. If you, in the cold weather, you get smaller. You'd go into water, although you don't use it in water, you get smaller. Post urination, the penis gets smaller. Spontaneous erection happens. So this will allow for all those accommodations of all the different sizes during the course of the day for a male that they normally go through and don't even realize it. Wow, that's okay. Now you have your connection of your day bag or your night bag. Easy. This is non-detectable under the clothing. The catheter being silicone is not sticky. It maintains body temperature. The silicone maintains body temperature. So at that point, you don't even know you're wearing it. It's a great idea. Okay. Taking it off is just as simple. You remove the secure strip and you can see it's not an aggressive adhesive. The catheter is then just pulled off and the gel strip is unrolled and you're clear. It is a daily disposable. And the idea is that I've solved all the issues and all the problems of all the other yeah, catheters. All these things are disposable or just these two or? All three of these. This is a, a, it's a daily disposable, comes in a pack okay. with all three components. It is Medicare approved, it's private insurance approved. Oh, wow. the, the website where information can be gotten is www.urinedevice.com. And the only, the only component part is sizing. Right. Okay, and I think here we are at the Ability Show, and we have different sizes, but we have a lot of pediatric users. Okay, and a lot of people will say to me, well, the 29 will not be the correct size, that it's a younger adult. But the nice thing about the G-Wiz is that 
when you wrap the gel strip around, if, a, if the person was smaller size, as you wrap the gel strip around, notice that as you make additional layers around, you now have taken and become the actual size of the smallest size. Okay. So the gel ends up filling in the voids and the problems of smaller size. And it w as well as if when I pull it off, you can see my fingerprint on it. It will fill in all the cracks, the voids, and skin flaps that may develop when putting the catheter on. So it has basically taken an industry that's over 50, year old, 50 years old that really has had no changes and improvements. They may have changed the look, they may have changed the texture, they have not changed the nozzle, they haven't changed the bend, and they haven't added an independent means of connecting it so that it's customized to each individual person. And that's the product. And that's I'm very proud of it. Yeah, yeah I can see why. It. Well, we're glad to come here and, and have you show us what it's about. I'm sure people are going to be impressed and uh, be coming to you. And again, if I can repeat, the website is www.urinedevice.com. And when they anybody calls, they don't get customer service. They get myself or my son, who's also my director of marketing. His name is Matthew. And we will work with everybody for a completion of the task. Application method is critical to any product. And when there's a problem, we're there to help. And uh, finally, remember what it is called. This is the G Wiz. And our slogan is, you're in trouble without it. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much.